black hippie radio. <laughs> I've been direct show <laughs> right here on Black Hippie Radio Entertainment. We're already live across Facebook, plus we live across there. I got the homie Corey CL, Crockett the Tell Young. What's happening? What's happening? Long six months ever. Shout out to the state troopers. But we are uh, <laughs> we sitting down here, man. Y'all know how we usually do. We sit back, we talk, we talk about a host of things, man, and. Today's subject is brought to you by Jatim Young. <laughs> you went crazy with it. Yes, we sir. 18 topics. Uh, um, first like topic, that. is it such a thing as as what? Being too spoiled. As being too spoiled, explain. So, does being too spoiled, does that mess up a woman's chance of dating when she meets somebody? You know, does she, does, is, is she now more superficial or is that something that females can control? It's a question. I don't know. Okay. Aaron Rodgers, but I'm gonna let him have one here now. Who went in on Aaron Rodgers? Mm-hmm. Oh, I can't wait till you get Even to Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers. Uh, all last week. Top seven QBs of all of all time. Yeah, like, yeah. he said. Yeah. No, he said five. five. What do five? Five, five and then two come off the bench. What do, what do five from two thousand? It's not hard to pick you know, five I'm quarterbacks. Not uh, what's no, the all time. What's do I have? Five Aaron Rodgers. 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 Five Aaron that's from 2000. I graduated high school in 99. Hey, but bro, you, you guys, you, you can't act like the 80s didn't exist. We're not saying that. We said let's just do it from there. Well, I, I, I'm gonna go seven. You could pick five if you want. That's probably around the time he started really paying attention to football. So, so don't nobody know who Joe Montana is at the state. Yeah, everybody knows who Joe Montana is. But you got the top five NFL teams, our picks, NFL MVP race. You want to talk about this already? Yeah, this is week six. Week six. Yeah, like you're ready. We got the NBA, man. The the, um, the preseason kicking off, man. It's just a, it's just a show where we're going to sit back and we talk. We live across the L Plus. We live across the Home Corp CL Crockett page. Mm-hmm. It's been a while. How y'all been doing, man? Make it quick before we go on music break. Bo Deal. Mary Lane. First of all, shout, Love out, Deal. shout out to that six months is up. Back down like SmackDown. <laughs> but I ain't going to lie. Lesson learned. I just say, you know, you know. True. You don't. Um, I'm just happy to see the fellas, man. You know, every time we die out here, man, it is, you know, some it just light up. You know, like I say, man, this is our locker room. This is what we do. And uh, we got a show for y'all, man, so I can't wait. Levi is, man, he going to be in Miami this weekend. He yes, gonna he be is. The whole Chicago. Chicago. Hey, Levi, you need to be doing some interviews or something down yeah, here. Yeah, that's why I told you. live at the barbecue, at the, at the tailgate, at the God thing, uh, all that. From, from what I hear, they're going to be getting drinks thrown in his face. Oh. <laughs> Look at you, Tim Young, throwing the shade already, <laughs> man. This is my room. This dude here, man. On the real. Man, we're going to go ahead. <laughs> Like I said, we live across the air. Y'all go to Black Hippie Radio Entertainment, man. Just listen right now, man. <laughs> These dudes here, man. Why y'all do LeVar like that, man? I Come can't see the shadows, shadows in my room. I ain't got nothing to do with that. Mini Boy for production. I fuck with everybody, man. I don't give a fuck who he is, nigga. Don't nobody dictate my pace, nigga. And I'm respected everywhere, nigga. True story. A lot of you niggas ain't respected nowhere. Look, they say the sun come after the rain. But I wonder what come after the pain. Cause I ain't had a smile there since I got myself in the game. It got ugly when I got a little fame. But I stay humble, though. I done seen rappers here come and go. Niggas gave their life to the devil to try to blow. I done seen hot try to go on my nigga coat. Took them off up and down. That wasn't the way to go. I watched Bump J put the city on the map. For that gangster shit had the city on his back. Goon Squad, they rep that. You ain't have to like it, but you had to respect that. When he got picked off, me and L.E.P. had to step. Up. Right. We was all united till E had to mess it up But it's all good and it's all gravy I can never love the game cause it's all shady JoJo gave me pointers on this rap shit He held the city down on that smack shit And I was spitting heat over crack beats That's why the motherfuckers love me on them back streets As I stroll down memory lane I can never see the city the same 
As I stroll down memory lane, I can never see the city the same. As I stroll down memory lane, I can never see the city the same. As I stroll down memory lane, a lot of this shit didn't change. Look, Pac-Man kicked it off with that drill music. That murder, 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 kill, kill music. He was spitting for them niggas in the field music. Niggas try to take credit, but that's his movement. King Louis was buzzing hard. You seen them stickers on buses in every car. That shit was raw. And that lasted till Keith came home. Get a million views for everything Keith name on. I was fucking with them younger niggas. All the up and coming niggas. But it seemed like they was full of drama, nigga. I show love, I'ma be me. I ain't care if you was VLGD or BD. I ain't care if you was Blackstone, King of MC. Latin folks, full blood, cripple BG. Nah, I set trends, I'm an OG. I'm a legend, these niggas know me. Whoa. As I stroll down memory lane, I can never see the city the same. As I stroll down memory lane, I can never see the city the same. As I stroll down memory lane, I can never see the city the same. As I stroll down memory lane, a lot of this shit didn't change. It did. These niggas don't know the work we put in, man. Me, LA, man. Live and direct show. Sitting back right here on Black Hippie Radio Entertainment down here with the homie Corey C.L. Crockett and Big Ten's finest, Tim Young. We sitting back and we chilling. Y'all can call in 708-328-8923. Um, it's, a, it's a lack question day. <laughs> he, 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 he said, hey, I'm taking control. He the point guard today. <laughs> I'm just a shooting guard and CL going to play the small four. He's going to play it. I'm going to find him. So, block. go ahead. So, you kick it off. Go All ahead. All right. Um, you know, just first question. Is it a such thing as ladies being too sport or, you know, men sport being around women that has been too sport? And with that kind of lifestyle or with that type of interaction with females, does being too sport, does that hinder uh, interaction with a female from... You know, finding a guy or uh, having a sustainable relationship because you mean for of materialist wise, for a time. Yeah, she she spoiled with... period. Like whatever you could say, both. She spoiled as far as materialistic, and she spoiled as far as like when she wants something, she always get it. And and so does she that get away, she just get away? Basically, she get away exactly. Um, go ahead, uh, go ahead. Uh, me personally, I would like to spoil from because ain't nobody get spoiled unless they my way, and I ain't married. Right, but. I mean, I think to a, a degree, yeah, but you got to know what type of chick you're dealing with, too. Right. If you know what type of chick you're dealing with, you know how to treat her. And yeah. that's what, if that's what some, and then not only that, some guys rather just, you know, give a woman that's a bunch of money and diamonds and rings and all that and the finest things in life. But at the same time, she mentally ain't loyal. Loyal. She, ain't, ain't no substance, she, though. She messing, she messing with some, some bums. Back out of and you got time for, you know. So, I mean, now I got one even better for you. Me, Jane, what up? What about when he can't do that no more? Is she gonna stick there or is she up? I uh, know she's definitely gonna move on. Yeah, you gotta think about it. I mean, you can go from messing with somebody that's been giving you the world to somebody that ain't been giving you nothing. And you know, most of them are like, nah, that's a downgrade. Well, know? what, a, what about the I'm what talking about even if he decide to do it on somebody and backing something, that's why they take the trips to Japan. 